Today I'm on a trip and I'm going to make a wire jewelry with one of my previous ones. I've chosen this ear cuff and I'm going to unwrap it and open it up and then again make a beautiful pendant. I'm using my round nose pliers and I undo the things that I've done the first time. And this is a steel wire and of course is a bit hard and it's even easier to unwrap because if it's copper or brass that may be torn apart and we should do that very carefully. After unwrapping 20 gauge wire in this pendant I'm unwrapping the 26 gauge wire of course a thinner one at last I have some beads 26 gauge wire and of course 20 gauge wire you could prepare them and then start or you could unwrap one of your previous works that you don't use them at first we need to make a wire coil so make a tie with the thinner wire all around one of those 20 gauge wire and continue doing that to make a wire coil and check every round to be attached to the previous one and to squeeze them with your nail and do that for about four or five centimeters I had a tutorial on how to make wire coilings on the video above you could go to that tutorial too pick up 20 gauge wire and leave about one centimeters and with round nose pliers make a loop there and I wrap it all around this would be like a teardrop shape just like this and somewhere about 1.5 centimeters above I would make another teardrop shape with round nose pliers and I would do that again to make another teardrop shape just in front of the first one and that would be just like a heart shape isn't it yes that's it and then I will cut it out in about one centimeters with the flush cutter of course and I pick up the wire coiling part and of course to open this teardrop shapes and this structure so that the wire coiling part would move naturally and easy in between so I would insert the wire coiling part into this structure the starting point of course is so important so if it's needed just cut it out to be inserted well the tip here is that if you wrap the thinner wire all around a thicker wire than the main structure it would be so easier I would insert the wire coiling into that structure and wrap the ending points and make two loops at each end then squeeze them so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left I would do that for both parts then we need three jump rings and we have the tutorial on how to make these jump rings and open and close them on the link above and insert two of them and then the third one just like this and I'm going to connect the bead or stone so insert the bead into the 20 gauge wire and at the end with a round nose pliers make a very little U shape 
and squeeze it well, just like this, to close the ending point. And at the above, make 90 degree bend, make a loop, and wrap the wire all around. I would do that for two or three times and pay attention so that they would be attached to each other, just like this. Then would cut the extra part out and insert it to the last jump ring that we had first. Another jump ring above is needed. And that's all. The wire pendant is ready. And you could do this wire coiling technique for every design that you desire. Hope you had enjoyed. Take care.